Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Pisces for love and relationship for the month of November 2020. You feel like you, you are losing yourself. The other person in your life or someone you love or you want, I get here, they are really very happy, interested in you very much, in love with you, confident in you, attracted to you very much. I'm making on a Virgo person, a Leo person here. Capricorn, Taurus. This person like to feel that you provide, you give. They haven't been meeting you like you no know, halfway also. It could be like you know, this person is lonely or a loner. Like, you know, they call them loner in a way that sometimes they don't really express their feelings to you. They keep really their thoughts deep inside or within. This person is not opening up all the way. Like, you no, know, it just it feels to them that they are struggling with an issue of trust at this time. Even though that you are really very pleasant with this person, you feel that you have to be really careful also about yourself because I get here, you are lonely also. I'm not really sure how you are both lonely and you talk to each other and you love each other. Hmm. You are confident also in yourself, but I get here that you have shyness a little bit, but you have an issue of trust also. It could be Pisces and Pisces I'm picking on also because you are both the same thing. You're kind of confused. You want more in your life. You are not really focused on what you want exactly or what's going on exactly here because I get here that you know what you want, but you are not really know or sure of what's going on because you get here, this person is confusing you and you keep guessing because he or she is not speaking up. It's not saying like really much to you. The, your person is really uh, jealous of another person around you. They are jealous of someone that you separated from or divorced before. You are having all of that love, exchange love between you two. You could be like, you know, really someone who is not really like, you know, in the living together together here. Either this person is a long distant or far away from you or in another country. And I get here, there is so much like, you know, really heartache you want this person to be with you 100 percent, but you keep thinking and worrying what's going to happen next someone you know is sick they're going to be fine though they will be healthy again don't worry like every time you come closer to each other you feel like you know, things are not are slowing down You want like no things to be faster, but it has been really circumstances are like no stronger than both of you. It sounds to be what's happening to the world here. I'm picking on like you no know, the virus again. 
it's really affecting both of you like you want to be around each other you want to see each other more this person loves you so much they are emotional for you they are committed to you too If you have a person like in a long distance who says here they cannot stand the distance because they keep feeling like you know, that they are fooling themselves talking to you from a long distance. They want to be around you. They want to be with you 100% and they are worried about another person around you. I get here maybe they are worried about an ex of yours. Your person feel lucky like you no know, talking to you like you no know, it could be like you no know, internet here social media messages Skype Zoom anything that you are talking on and I get here unfinished business between you two there is a celebration there is happiness here it's like you are you you are flirting with each other you are talking to each other you are connected really very much with each other also you are doing an effort. But in the same time, I get here, this person want more to succeed with you because they think they have did, like, you know, a lot of good effort with you also. And I get here that this person love you and coming back or coming to, to towards you, to approach you. This is at the end of the deck here. This is the motive of, the, of your person. The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. The King of Wands, uh, Wand, I'm sorry. They want to approach you with love. This is coming toward you. This person like to love you so much. They feel lonely. They are you are struggling because of that too. Both of you, you want to be together. They haven't been really like you know expressing ex expressing their feelings or talking to you more. But they want you and they are coming back. If you have been really like you know, just waiting on a person to uh, to come back, they are coming back. If you are talking to a person that it has been slow between you two. Seems to be, you know, the virus is getting again and the lockdown and the struggle. But you will be together no matter what because there is extreme love between you two. And I get here, you will be happy together here. You're going to succeed, but I get here in the free time, try not to be stressed out about too many things in your life and try to work on yourself no matter what. Oh, some people like to paint your apartment. I don't know. Do something. In this time that you are not really being, you know, rotate things, uh, put things in order, whatever you feel. But no matter what, you're going to be together together. Um, let's see like, you know, what the angels card are going to say here. Angel Wisdom Tarot. I don't know. I just bought this deck. And it's written things on it and I want to see and try it. What is the advice giving for Pisces for the month of November regards love and relationship? I see that your person here, sometimes they want to cut it off with you and, and walk away and separate from you. But I get here that it's just, they are sneaky about it. They don't want to leave. Deep inside them, like, you know, they are being smart with you. I don't see them walking away, away. They are committed. They want you. They want you to come ahead or come forward. They want to be with you also. I can't really see it. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Okay. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness, trouble or relocation. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time for great success. Financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch 
everything turning out beautifully. A supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work with. Victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships, sorry. So it looks to me that, you know, no matter what you have been really waiting for is going to happen, but be relieved and it's talking about finances and relocation here, which is money is going to be really very good, which is I wasn't trying to read for money anyway. But it looks to me here that you will get your wish. You will have the one that you want. Rest assured. I don't know. The reading in the beginning, it was kind of like a you know, foggy little bit. It's not really showing much. But at the end, like, you know, start really like, you know, to make sense. Anyway, dear Pisces, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The link for my website is below this video. And I have also a link for a donation. Please donate for my channel. And if you need a private reading, just click on my website mysticalazio.com and you will be seeing everything like you no know, in it like you know the prices how to call me you don't need like you know to ask again like you know what shall i do thank you so much for watching bye bye